In this video, we'll go over the project workflow in more detail by putting together a quick example of a project using the example clips available for download from the course site. And once you have a better understanding of how to construct a project in Camtasia, we'll look at the more advanced features in later sections. The process of creating a video or e-learning course using Camtasia Studio can be summarized into three repeatable steps. In general, you start by importing media to your clip-in. Then the next step is to add the media to the timeline so you can edit and add any special effects. And then the last step is to preview your work in the canvas. For me, it's a process that you repeat over and over as you add more media and fine tune your project until it's done. So let's talk about each of those steps in a little more detail. All projects usually start right here in the clip-in by importing the video clips, images, or audio that you'd like to use in your project. If you're creating something like a screen recording or recording of yourself giving a presentation, then you'll be using Camtasia's features to add that media to your clip-in. But if you have media from other sources, then you'll need to use the Import Media option to bring it into your project. I'll go ahead and get things started with Step 1 by importing an example video clip that I'll use in my project. You could also import other media like images or audio, but I'm just going to keep this simple to give you a basic idea of the workflow. And you can follow along by downloading the example Camtasia project files from the course site, and importing the clip titled Capture 1 to a blank Camtasia project. If you're using the camproj file available on the course site, it will already have the Capture 1 imported as well as edited. I'd recommend starting fresh with a blank project like you see here. Now that I have a video clip imported, I'm ready to start the next step of the process by dragging and dropping the clip from the clip bin to the timeline. So I'll go ahead and drop this video clip into track 1 of the timeline. You also have several other tracks that you can use to layer in special effects like callouts or other media like images or audio. And it's important to understand that each track in the timeline is a layer, and clips or special effects that are above other items in the timeline will appear visually in front of the other clips. And we'll cover layering clips and special effects in more detail in section 4. Once you have your clips in the timeline, you're ready to move on to do some fine tuning by trimming and cutting and adding any special effects or interactive elements for an e-learning project. We'll be covering trimming and cutting later in section 4, but let's go ahead and add a quick special effect for this example. And one of the most popular special effects are callouts, which you've seen in this video and are great for bringing attention to something in the video. If you want to make sure that your viewers notice what happens here at the 1 minute mark, then you can move the playhead to the 1 minute mark and add the arrow callout to track 2. And now that the callout is added to the timeline, you can move on to the next step of the process, which is to preview what you've created so far in the canvas. And as you can see in the canvas, because we put the arrow callout in track 2, it's now shown on top of the video clip. If you need to make sure that the arrow callout comes in at the right time, you can use the playback controls or the scrubber underneath the canvas to preview just that part of the video. This is a process that you repeat over and over until the project is done. At this point, I've completed the three steps of the process. From here, you can continue to work on it by adding more media or interactive elements like quizzes if it's an e-learning project. But this is just a quick example to give you an idea of the general workflow in Camtasia, so we'll save the rest of the details for sections 3, 4, and 6. The final step of the project is to publish it, which is done using the Produce and Share option that you see directly above the clip in. You have a lot of options when it comes to publishing that we'll cover in more detail in section 7. And that summarizes the project workflow in Camtasia Studio 8. Everybody has their own methods and style for editing their projects, but when you're first getting started, it's easy to stick to these three steps of importing media to your clip in, then editing it in the timeline, and lastly previewing it in the canvas. And remember that it's not a linear process. You'll need to repeat the process until your project is done. And once you get those three basic repeatable steps down for your first media item, the rest is just building on those three steps. Okay, now that you're familiar with the general process and workflow for creating a video in Camtasia, it's time to try it out for yourself and you can feel free to use the practice files that are available for download on the course site. And you can practice what you've learned by adding some basic media and a callout to a video clip, and then you'll want to preview it in the canvas. If you're able to do that, then you can create a basic project, and you're ready to learn about the more advanced features in later sections. In the next section, you'll learn how to get your project off to a good start by configuring the project settings to your liking.